Hey guys, it's April and Gretchen, and we're going to make a beautiful hummingbird picture today. And we thought it would be fun to do this for Mother's Day. So the first thing we're going to do is decide where on our paper our hummingbird is going to go. And hummingbirds are really tiny, and we're going to draw them actually a little bit bigger than they might be in real life even. So we have a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper that's cut in half. And um, I'm going to, with my finger, kind of draw a little jelly bean shape. I want it to go about here and here. So take your gray, and we're going to do some really, really light lines first. So just draw a sideways oval. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. So light so that you can barely see it. Don't worry about making it perfect. This is just our sketch. From the back of the jelly bean shape, like about right here, we're going to draw one long line like this. It goes about that far and then comes back in right here. And then we're going to see how his back goes like that. We're, we're going to continue that line. We're going to connect it from here. We're going to make it go down. And then right here, see, we're going to add a little bit more to his belly right here. So change that shape of that oval by bumping it out right there. And then make it taper in. That's Taper is when it comes in. Oh, that's perfect, Gretchen. And then from this spot right here, right where here, <laughs> right where your line came back in. We're going to go over about right there. We're going to see where I, I am right here on my picture. I'm going to make a tail by just going out. And this is almost a triangle shape right here. And I'm not going to worry about the bottom. I'm just drawing that kind of a V shape right there. Nice. And then we're going to decide how far we want the um, beak to come out. I want my little skinny hummingbird beak to come out about right here. So I'm just going to draw a little dot right there and then grab my Sharpie. Now the beak, we're going to start from the spot and then we're going to make it come up to the head and we're going to make it a little bit thicker right here. So I'm going to start from that little dot I made and go straight across and to where the hummingbird head is. And then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. You want it to be really delicate, so just try and make this as thin as possible. I made it a little bit thicker where it connects to the head. And then we're going to add the little hummingbird eye. And I'm going to put that, we're just going to have one eye because we're looking at the side of his face. So I'm going to put his hummingbird eye right here. Pretty tiny, and I'm going to leave a little dot for highlight and color the rest in black. Oh, you're so good, Gretchen. Okay, now I want you to take a black crayon, and we're going to start adding a little of the detail. So the first thing is really lightly. Look at how I'm not doing it all in one big line. I'm just doing little... Um, light strokes like this. I want you to do the outline of the head from the beak around to where it touches the wing. Oh, that's great. And then I want you to do a little bit right here, just so light. We just want to define where the shape of the hummingbird is. And then where his wing is, I want you to take the black and draw out, out, out like that. Make sure that he has a nice sharp edge to his wing right here and then stop and then we're going to add the inside of his wing we're just going to do these are going to be kind of like the feathers so i'm doing it a little darker at the end and then i'm making it kind of stop and see i'm not even going all the, it's okay if you go all the way to this gray line but this kind of shows the shape of his wing right here The inside of bird's wings and the outside of bird's wings look a little bit different. Then we're going to make it look a little three-dimensional. We're going to add the wing that's behind it, 
by just drawing a line like this and then it comes back in like that. And that we're going to color in a little bit darker with our black. And that's the wing that's behind this wing that's in the front right here. Gretchen, you're very quiet today. Are you concentrating hard? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then right here we're going to do, I'm making this line a little bit darker. And then I'm going to do his cool tail. And I'm just going to do his tail by drawing lines like this. I didn't really color it in. I just drew lines. And see how I've still kind of got that V right there. His tail is split. Okay. Now we're going to add some of his color. And... Um, I have this magenta color right here and I'm going to start, I, we want to leave a little white around the eye so we're not going to color right up to the eye but I'm just going to do a little spot of color right here and I'm going to make it go in different directions as I add the crayon, kind of make it look feathery. I'm going to make it a little bit darker right here and then kind of blend it out. Then I'm going to take um, my, uh, this is just a regular green, and I'm going to do this so light. I'm going to add a little bit of green right here, just so light. And again, these are very soft feathers, so we're just doing soft, soft lines. And it doesn't matter where you go, you can make your hummingbird look a little bit different. And then I'm going to take my pink. You know how I like to layer my colors. I'm going to put pink on top of the magenta spread it out a little bit more, leaving a, a little white around the eye still. Then I'm going to do a little pink inside the wing. See where our gray line is where we started where it was super light? I'm going to color it pink up to that gray line by just making lines like this, kind of feathery light lines. Just for fun, I'm going to add a little pink down here too. Okay, now I'm going to take this green yellow. I think there's some that say yellow green and some that say green yellow. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to add it on top of my other green, which will really make it pop. And kind of blend it a little bit with the pink, but not too much. We want it to look a little different. Okay, now I'm going to take my black again and I'm going to make some feathers right here that make kind of a pattern just by doing a few longer strokes. Again, not coloring it all the way in, I'm just adding some pattern. And then I'm gonna make his little hummingbird head black. Kind of darker. And again, I'm leaving a little white around the eye. It's okay if you go up on top of your eye because the hummingbirds can all look a little different. And I don't want to cover up all the pretty colors I put there. I'm just kind of blending it in with my crayon by just going soft, soft on top. And then see how I'm taking my black and I'm just kind of making sure I have that really defined edge of where the ed edge of the hummingbird is. Because we've done so many soft lines, sometimes you need to come and just clean it up a little bit. wing a little bit more. I want it to look really sharp. And then add a little bit more. I'm going to do shorter feathers. Oh, my crayon just broke. Good thing it still works. I'm going to do shorter feathers right here. And then I don't want to cover it all up, but see how the bottom feathers that are longer, spacing them out a little bit more. Okay, then we'll come with our gray and with the gray I'm going to go on top of the black on the head on top of the little tail right here you can add a little 
a little bit of gray anywhere you think it needs it. Then I'm going to do it right inside the wing. I'm going to do it pretty dark because I want that to all blend in. And the last thing I think my hummingbird needs is I want to make sure this top of the wing right here really stands out. So I'm going to come back. And now I'm really screaming with the black. I'm really pushing down hard to get a nice black line right there. really good Gretchen. Very nice. Okay so we have our hummingbird. If you want to take a few more minutes to add a little bit more detail you can do that now or um, you can leave it blank. You can do whatever kind of background you want on it or you can do what I'm gonna do which is I'm gonna make some heart flowers and hummingbirds eat from the heart flowers. I'm sorry hummingbirds eat from flowers. So I'm gonna draw some flowers kind of hanging upside down and a little heart shape like this. And then I'm just going to draw flowers around it and hearts. And then right here, I'm going to do one big heart. And you can write a little message to your mom. If you do it in Sharpie, then when you color on top of it, it won't smear. Are you going to do this kind of background, or are you going to do a different kind? Different kind. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I like that technique. <laughs> I'm going to use as I do my leaves, I'm going to use a few different color leaves. So I have this funny green, which is called asparagus. And I'm going to do kind of almost like vines hanging down. That is very exciting, Gretchen. That actually made a super cool background, huh? <laughs> draw some hearts that I don't color in. Just Oh, that's awesome. All right. Here you have it. Two awesome, beautiful, different hummingbirds done by two awesome, fabulous artists. And they it's okay that they look different because they're by two different artists. You can do Gretchen's fabulous multicolored background, or you can do some beautiful flower hearts, or you can do whatever you want. Huh.